Right then guys, I'm gonna I don't actually have the game loaded up at the moment because there is not a menu system in the game. I, I'm sure they'll add like a menu in the future, but as soon as you open up like the game application, it just jumps straight into the game, so I'm just gonna do that for you now. And we'll experience it together and what the actual update is like, so here we go. Whoa! That's a real big improvement from the last time I played. It seems seems to be like a, a wall. Okay, so so I played the previous build from December 2nd, and it actually wasn't much to it. And it looked very simplistic, but it did look quite nice. But they even... They improved the graphics so much. So I need to follow this path. Let's have a go. Okay, there's a sign. Uh, Millican Way and uh, Tuala Tin Hills Ranger Station. So I that way is not available yet, so they, they might actually add that in future builds. So let's go to uh, Tuala Tin Hills. Just going to call that Ranger Station just to make it easier. So let's just follow the path. I wonder if there's actually anything in the forest. That would be quite interesting if they're just hiding stuff in the forest, wouldn't it? Oh, G press G to pick up the phone. Good morning, Gary. Hey, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Sounds like you're sober this time around. At least you're not slurring like last week. Yeah, well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? Very funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Hmm, sure. So, what happened here? A man. Mike Hill was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Mm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day, but you've done it before. I believe in you, so don't disappoint me. Yeah, I'll do my best. Wow, so we have like a proper telephone conversation. Okay, so I didn't notice this. What is it? Forest Ranger perished in deadly fire. Beaverton citizens in turmoil again. Mike Hill, 43, a fo uh, forest ranger in uh, Tulatin Hills National Park, died in a terrible fire yesterday evening. Hills' body was found inside a small shed near his own forest ranger cabin. So it was a forest ranger cabin, not just like a... The local officials suspect murder. Oh, wow. In the previous build on December 2nd, it did hint towards, uh, like, arson. Yesterday at 4pm, a nearby jogger reported seeing smoke and called the fire department. Soon after, the local police department was also alarmed. The local police is currently investigating this tragic event. Who or what caused the fire? Officials suspect that it may have been murder, but it's too soon to say. One police detective is looking into this. A similar fire happened 30 years ago, when the Parker family perished and only one youngest child, uh, Jay Parker, survived. The culprit was never found. Has the same person struck again? Our condolences go out to Hill's family and friends. Press tab. Oh, they've updated the uh, phone. It was, very, it was like a black background before. Oh, so that's what I look like. Gary Price, date of birth, 2nd of 7th, 1980. And ID number is 257. Evidence, so newspaper, resources. Call 1, call 2. Autopsy and alcohol. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. So let's just keep going forward. They really improved the graphics. I'm really impressed by this. Okay, so I know from the previous build it's this. The gas can. Any, did they add anything to the shed? Uh, doesn't look like they added anything to the shed. Oh, they've added a sign. Beaverton Ranger Station, Tulatin National Forest. Can we pick up the axe now? We can pick up the axe. But it's just a white box. Does the matter we managed to pick up the axe? Can we pick anything else up? Okay, before we go in, I just want to have a look around, like, just behind the house. Again, maybe see if we can see anything off in the distance. Nope, can't really see anything. So let's just get going inside the cabin. I'm excited to see what they if they made any changes to the cabin. Although it does look a lot nicer. Oh, the uh, broken vase is now lying down instead of just standing up. They got rid of the shelf that was here in the last build. Let's go in here. Antidepressants, I know that was there last time. 
So not really many other changes in the toilet or the little bathroom. You can you can actually lift up the toilet seat this time. That's that's always a good thing. You pull the flush. No, we can't. Wait, what was that? Oh, I was just hovering over that. So apart from the uh, graphics changes, which made it look a lot nicer, there's nothing really, nothing else in here. So we can just close the bathroom up. Pick up the boots. No. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, so there's not really any changes. Oh, apart from oh you oh yeah you can crouch now which is which is great. So in the previous build you can crouch. So if I crouch, okay, so that doesn't seem to be anything by there. Wait, what was that? Empty picture frames. Oh, hello. Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in ghastly from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Forensics identified a wound on his head which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. Anything else? Hill had traces of antidepressant medication in his system, and one of his lower ribs was broken. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. Oh, so we learned a lot more this time. So let's just open up the phone. The profile. No evidence. It was in resources. That's the one. Autopsy. Doesn't seem we can click that just yet. So we got antidepressants. It says that he was hit on the head. So it must have been this. That must have been the vase that hit, that hit him in the head. Okay, so it was... I think that he was hit across the head with the vase. And then and then that was in gasoline. But first, he must have taken some antidepressants before being hit in the head. So let's put that there. Let's try and put them all in order. And then he was lit on fire. The newspaper is way afterwards. The axe wasn't actually used by the looks of it. Use them. So in future builds, maybe they'll add that into the game. Hey Mike, how are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed. Okay. Hello, Michael. It's Jason from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Okay, there was a key in there last time, but it's not there anymore. You better not snoop around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Hill. I've got a lot to lose here. Okay, I think that was it for the phone Hello, calls. Price. Haven't heard from you in a while. I've got everything under control here, alright? It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. I stuck my neck out for you. You could at least try. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. Why can't you just let it go? Because it's not right. You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything to be okay. Look, I... I was supposed to fire you immediately. But I respect you, Price. You're a good officer. So please don't make me regret my decision. Alright, okay. Just let me go do my job. So at the moment, my main suspect is the is the friend from high school who said that he would be coming up tomorrow. So he's my number one suspect at the moment. Oh yeah, there's the uh, consumed lasagna in the oven. Didn't eat much, there's still a bit left. And as, as I did so when I opened up this, there, there was a key in here the last build, but there's not in this build. So it might be somewhere else. Yep, yeah, exactly. Another key. Is that uses evidence now? Nope. Now can we use the key to open this? No. I've seen everything that was downstairs. Uh, the only thing that is different as well is that there was no new newspaper on this table. It was on the bench, because we have the newspaper now. Oh, there's no boxes here. Can we still walk? We can actually walk up here now. Neo Talon might actually add something to the game that that will be sitting here, which could be pretty awesome. Oh, and notable differences in this room. It was really simplistic in the last build. There's now like a carpet. The bed has a blue 
a sheet cover on it and a grey pillow. Oh, something in the bin. Mountainside High School, class of 91, 25 year reunion. Come and catch up with old friends. I'm not going to say the address. You got another thing. It crashed. Okay, so I am back. I'm sorry about that. My game crashed. So I should be. I should have got everything now. So I'm just looking through here. Yep, the yearbook. Exactly where it was last time. Nothing like on the bed. Okay, so I need to have a look on this desk now. The desk seemed to have improved light, uh, drastically as well. There's a lot more stuff on, on this desk. Okay, and I think this was the business card that was in the, uh, the last build of the game as well. And that was. Okay, so anything else worth of interest? That sticky note? Nope, I think my game crashed again. Oh, enter password. Oh, there's a password. Oh, and that, the action figure. Yep, that was it as well. Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh, just a stapler. And there doesn't seem to be anything else on there. Oh, yeah, one other thing I did notice, guys, when I was running back here, is that you can actually sprint in the game now. Which I will show you now. So, yeah, you can actually sprint in the game, which is amazing. In the last build, you couldn't sprint, so it took ages just to get to one place to the other. Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive. Because oh, we've already, found we've already had this call already. In his lungs. First forensics identified a wound on his head, which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. Anything else? Hill had traces of antidepressant medication in his system, and one of his lower ribs was broken. Okay, what yes. happened That's good to in know. the last... Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why it like overlapped there. This what we got the first one correct. We got them all three. Okay, so what happened in the hours before the murder? So it was coffee. I think it was antidepressants as well. Could have been the axe. Like he was chopping wood. So crumpled invitation. He wouldn't have been doing that before the murder. So that was in the bin. Yearbook that was in the drawer. So we wouldn't been looking at that. The newspaper was on the bench. He could have been out. Action figures in his draw. Axe, he could have been... Okay, so... The only things it could have been... Is the newspaper or the axe. Could have been the... I'm going to put the axe. All right. Time for the big one. Who was the murderer? Oh, I don't know their names. Oh, I don't know their names. Okay, so the name of that was Jason. I'm going to put that down. Find out about Mike's past. A uh, crumpled invitation and the yearbook. I think there's more to it. Did you find out anything about the murderer's past? Uh, oh, I don't know. Could have been. Actually, it could have been these. Okay, it sounds like you're onto something here. I'll send some officers to take a look into it. Good work today, Gary. Listen, Chief, I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years. I learned to cope. But then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least, that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. So I picked up a vase, and I kept hitting him and hitting him until he was lying on the floor. Once I realized what I'd done, I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. Oh my god. Guys, anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it for this uh, build of the game. Oh my god, that was... 
This game is going to be amazing when it comes out. Okay, guys, so I think that's it for this game. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will leave a link to the game in the description down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. It is such an interesting game. Cannot wait for the future of this game. And, it, and I believe it should be coming out sometime in February, I think. I think that's what I read anyway. I'll check up on that. We'll see you guys in the next episode or the next video. Goodbye.